Maybe it's because I'm a Londoner. <laughs> Easily Dreamers, look who I have right with me. Hello. She's back again. My sister is back. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me again. Well, thanks for coming. Well, <laughs> I got so many comments from uh, from you guys saying, oh, I love your sister. She's amazing. So, so I kind of had to bring guys. her back. I didn't. Oh god. <laughs> god, I hang out with her enough. I don't have to do it with you on my channel as well. Work, weekend. <laughs> so where are we? We're in London. Yeah, we're walking along the river in London. Um, we're actually going to uh, Shakespeare's Globe. We're going to go see a play uh, for my birthday. Now, very cultural experience. Yeah. So very kindly, Annie got me a ticket for um, to see Shakespeare to see Much Ado About Nothing. Yeah. So we're just having a little walk before. Coffee. Yes, a little coffee and a little walk. So he doesn't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and a little walk around London. Uh, obviously, Annie and I we're from London, and I wanted to sort of talk about this city with you and mm -hmm. what it means to be a Londoner uh, with you and, and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like what, what does it mean to you when, you when you're walking around London, what does it mean to be a Londoner? I think my love for London has really grown since leaving London. Okay. I think when I was young, it was just where we were brought up and I took it completely for granted. And then over time, the years traveling, seeing different parts of the world, you, you get a certain pride in your own country, in your own yeah. town. Yeah. Like maybe you don't have when you're young because you just think everyone grows up in London. You can't really perceive that people have different experiences growing up. Um, and now, now that I'm outside London, coming back in is such a thrill. Yeah. It's just, I mean today, I mean I was on such a high when I met you Yeah, right? you were buzzing. Yeah, I was yeah. buzzing. I was like, I'm in London. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this place. Well, especially as like, the train station brings you right into the centre. So, so you're yeah. like in the heart of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, just walking through a little tunnel. So yeah, there's just there's an energy and there's a buzz about London, and the fact that today we had a pizza by the river, we just went and got a coffee in Borough Market. Yeah. We're about to walk, go to the Globe and watch Shakespeare, and then we're going to go onto the Tate and watch some art, look at some art. Yeah, that's just all that you can squeeze that in. Yeah. It's, you just get your fix of everything. Definitely. I think what what I love about London as well is that. There's old and new, like right next to each yeah. other. Like, for example, old and new. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, oh, that was a joke. That was a joke. Um, no, but like, for example, we're walking right now. We've got St Paul's Cathedral, yeah. which is, you know, built in, I think, like the 1600s. Oh, here we go. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> or something like, I'm not quite sure, but a long time ago. And, and then, then you, the Millennium Bridge. The Millennium Bridge, which is built yeah. you know, 17 years ago. Yeah. And, and you've got that kind of. Yeah, the juxtaposition I, of the that old was, and the new. That was the word the old, the juxtaposition. Help you out. The old and the new, yeah. And I think what else is special about London is you, a bit like you were saying, but you just have these pockets all around. And so, yeah, we're in Borough Market just now, and that had a completely different feel from being by the river. Yeah. This is, you know, this has got a different energy about it. And Borough Market was small stalls and little independent businesses, and yeah. now we're here with offices, and there's a school, and boats, and, yeah. you know. Definitely, we were talking earlier about like the, sort of the village aspect of London. And London, people say, is like made up of lots of little villages, yeah. isn't it? So and you find your village. You find your village, and that's your community. Mm. And that's, but it's also got like a distinct personality. So, you know, it's it's got its own kind of style of houses or its own mm. kind of feel about it. And um, that's really nice, I think. You yeah. Kind of find your community. But then I was saying that I, I haven't been back to Borough Market in years because once you find your village, sometimes you you're bad about going to different parts of London. Yeah, that's true. And that's what's so nice is you say, come on, let's go and get a coffee there. And it, you, you explore a different part, a part that I haven't actually been into for about 10 years. It's crazy. Yeah, 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 definitely. All right, we're just getting to the Globe Theatre. Very exciting. Um, I remember we went to the Globe Theatre years ago and this is, so the Globe Theatre is basically the original, it's, in fact, explain to me. It's, so it's, where Shakespeare used to originally perform his plays, it's the same spot, but they have redone the building. So it's not obviously the original building, mm -hmm. but it's a, an, Im an improved version, but done in the old style. Yeah, and it hasn't got a roof, so it's completely open air. So yeah. when it rains, you get wet. Yeah. If there's a helicopter that goes over. Yeah, you hear it. You hear it. Which there will be in London. Um, I, remember, I remember we went years and years and years ago and Hillary Clinton was yeah, in the, was she's in the, in the audience. audience. I know. That was pretty cool. Very impressive and all her security. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so we're going to go in. Um, are we sitting or standing? In the... We're standing. Okay. Are we? Like the ground place. Oh gosh. <laughs> we have to stand for three it's hours. It's an authentic experience. All right. Okay. The interval. The interval. Uh, how's it going? We're feeling very inarticulate and very unfunny in yeah. comparison to the, uh, the amazing Shakespeare play. Yeah, it's really funny. It's like yeah. laugh out loud funny. Yeah. It's kind of good. Um, what, a, what a place to watch a, a, amazing. a play, I mean, that's right? The thing, it's just the atmosphere and it's so, it's so alive. Like you notice before the helicopters going overhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are in London and there's a real energy from the audience. Yeah. And what's super cool is like this is in the heart of London. This is like yeah. right in the in yeah. the city centre. Yeah. And yet Thames and Yeah. And yet it feels like we could be in like the sixteen hundreds or yeah. Shakespearean yeah, yeah. times. That's how it was in those days. Yeah. It's so amazing. Oh. Just with a few more iPhones. <laughs> and All right, so we've just got to uh, <laughs> to the Millennium Bridge, the Wobbly Bridge, the Wobbly Bridge. Yeah, I've t I've told this um, I've told this story before, but for you guys that haven't heard it, so when this bridge was opened in around 2000, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It was a very windy day, and people started to walk across it, and the wind was so strong that the bridge wobbled. Yes, it swung from side to side, and people were kind of were panicking, going around, <laughs> and, um, and so yeah, they had to close it, didn't they? And then they yeah. reopened it. They put some dampeners in to stop it moving. And they reopened it a year later. Yeah. So, so we call it the Wobbly Bridge. The Wobbly Bridge. It's never lost its nickname. No. It's infamous nickname. But it's brilliant. It's such a beautiful bridge. I love yeah. this. And my favourite bridge. Like you said again, the old leading to the new. Yeah. Like the new leading to the old because there's some sure. the pools the in the background. The old there, and then it leads yeah. right round to the Tate Tate Model. Where I'm is, dragging you to later. Yeah, we're gonna head there later. More so we're just crossing uh, the, the Wobbly Bridge. Um, <laughs> So I was I was thinking about um, about London about like what makes London London. Yeah. I think it's like it's the multiculturalism. Yes. And it's like the way that it's kind of it's embraced. You know, like as you're walking around London, like there's every culture, there's every race, mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the wonderful things, isn't it? It's kind of there's everything. It's a melting pot yes. of everything. Yeah. And I kind of love that. Like even as we're walking here, it's like everyone from races everywhere. And faces. And it's yeah, and everyone leading their own little lives, but brought together as a whole. And everyone does just see, does just get along. Does, just yeah. gets on. You know. It definitely feels like it. Um, that's a really special thing about London. Yeah, and it, and it's, everyone's allowed to be who they want to be. There's no, you don't have to conform to a certain type. Yeah. In fact, everything's embraced, isn't it? It's no, absolutely. You kind of express yourself the way you want to do it. Yeah. That's, that's kind of accepting as well. I think it accepts the city, accepts anyone. Yeah. It's kind of. Yeah, it's definitely one but of the great I think that's things. why people seek it out, because I think in other parts of the United Kingdom maybe you have to conform a bit more, but then people find their way to London because anything really goes. Yeah. And there's a space and a place for everybody, and that is quite special. Yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah. Alright, so what's your favourite building in London? I'm going to give you my one, first of all. Okay. Well, I love Somerset House, but... Uh, the Shard, in terms of like new buildings, I love the Shard. Yeah. Sunset, like it, it reflects the light. Yeah. You know, like suddenly like it just looks like... And you're almost on a par with the planes, like, almost on the same level as planes yeah. coming in over London. <laughs> Practically yeah. waves to the passengers. Yeah, yeah, remember when we took Stan up there and yeah. uh, and there were like, there were people cleaning the windows right outside on like the <gasps> 50th floor or whatever it was. Scariest job in London. Yeah, that was pretty scary. Scariest scary. job in London. Um, yeah, that was another great birthday present. Yeah, it was. Very good one for you. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. So inspired. <laughs> Me. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so what's your favourite building in London? Um, I think we might be looking at it right now. Ooh. I think what's so great about St Paul's Cathedral is it withstood two world wars. Yeah. Unbelievably didn't get bombed. Yeah. Um, so it is one of the oldest. I think it did get bombed, but just not not terribly. Well, it's still looking pretty good. Yeah, it's looking, it's looking good. Yeah, I think yeah. it's alright. Yeah. I think it's done okay. It's pretty symbolic, isn't it? It's pretty symbolic. And even the way they've lined up this bridge here so that you 
go straight up to it. I think yeah. it's pretty impressive. All right, we've had a great walk around London. My battery's going, so we're going to say goodbye. Oh, bye, but, sleep dreamers. Uh, we'll see you again, definitely. <laughs> we'll bring, uh, I'll bring my sister along again. I know that's why you watch these videos, Yay! just for her. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. Oh, I loved it. It's been super fun. Um, we'll walk around London again. Wait, should we just finish with a song? Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm, I'm a Londoner that I love London so. And maybe it's because I'm a Londoner I think of her wherever I go. Bye. Bye.